Hey guys, welcome back to Mavis Plays Minecraft. How you guys doing today? I'm pretty good. I actually just woke up from a nap. It was very nice. And now I am working on my home. So I wanted to show you guys what I have done. Um, obviously I've put ladders up here, making it a little easier to get uh, up and down. And so far, this is the entrance to my house. And let me show you guys what I've done so far. Um, right now, what I'm actually working on is this outer lip here. I'm placing stairs um, upside down. Um, I just had to go get some more dirt because I ran out and I still have like that back half to do. So let's run over here. And I want some of those. I think I still have enough stairs to get around there. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've left the majority of my good stuff um, in my chest just in case I fall. Um, and I am done with this stuff, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. Please don't fall. <laughs> Um, I don't know how you guys feel about me building on camera, but I thought I'd give it um, a try. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like I've said before, I'm highly allergic to my cat, and my whole time he was I was sleeping, he was right on my face. <laughs> Love him to death, but he makes me sneeze and all that good stuff. Okay. Whoa. That was cutting it kind of close. Um, so my building process is pretty tedious because I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time. Um, let's get rid of this as we go. Don't want to have to come back and get rid of these blocks later. All right, and I would like to try this right here. See if I like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. <coughs> More dirt. All right. So basically, lately, what I've been doing off camera is gathering resources like sand and stone because um, it seems. I'm going to need a lot of that. <laughs> I've been out there um, mining sand. Actually, if you can see like right about there in my peripheral, that's where I've done a bunch of mining and I'm buried this little stone thing. <laughs> I'm going to make my desert super ugly. But that's okay. I need its resources. I have enough dirt to get me all the way back around. <coughs> or you guys may just see me die. <laughs> um, make this a little longer here. Yeah, I think I might have to jump. So let's keep this right here because that seems like a shorter distance to fall than, say, here or down here. That kind of sucks. I don't want to have to jump down and then pull her back up. Oh well. Oh, my pinky hurts from holding shift. <coughs> Alright, almost there. Yeah, 
because actually I won't need to pillar back up here because I've already done that side. So yay, that's good. Um, except that stone right there is upside down the wrong way. So let's fix that. Um, there we go. <coughs> Alrighty, more of these. Beautiful. Okay. So I plan on very soon making a trip to the nether. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that on camera because I will probably die. My um, skills in the nether are not very good. <coughs> Um, actually, the first time I ever went to the nether was when I played on um, the server, and um, it was quite funny. Um, there were a few times that I went, I think actually the very first time I ever went into the nether, I was with some of the other people on the server, and they were recording, well, Mukaki was, so if you guys want to go check out his channel, I'm sure you can see that fun adventure of me in the nether for the very first time. And I actually wasn't Skyping with them when um, we were there, so I was just, you know, typing everything, and I go back and watch the video now, and it's kind of funny, because they're talking about me, and worried that I'm going to crap my pants, because they thought I was scared, which, I mean, I was nervous, but I wasn't terrified. I've been more terrified in this game than that before. Um, let's see, I need some food. <coughs> I think I'm missing an edge block down here, so let's go get that taken care of real quick. So earlier today when I got home from work <coughs> I was watching one of my um, subscribers videos. His name is Munchmo I believe. I think that's how you say it. Um, he has some really cool videos. He's a fun guy. I really like to, to watch him. He's very enthusiastic and I dig what he puts out. It's pretty cool. But he was, he always um, does a snapshot of like the new stuff that they're going to be putting out and some of the stuff he was talking about today or well actually I think the video is a couple days old now but um, there's pretty exciting there's some cool stuff going on in Minecraft um, like being able to dye leather and um, the picture frame thing was pretty cool and the new boss that's coming out is kind of scary and uh, all that kind of fun stuff keep that on me. just want to get all my stuff back here so I don't forget to get anything. Um, there. Put you there. Sorry, I'm kind of anal about how I have all my stuff arranged. Okay. Um, you can go over there. There we go. <coughs> okay. So let me go take a look at my candy work here and see what else I want to do. I know that I want to do um, windows along the edge here, but I'm not sure if I want to take this out another block or not. Like put a whole block here and another set of stairs around that side. I think that's what I want to do. So let's go get some more blocks at least. <coughs> Two stacks of these, maybe another one, just in case. And I knew I didn't want to do the whole floor in um, cobble, so it was kind of hard how to end the cobble um, and start a new floor, so I did it this way, and I hope that looks okay. Definitely give me your opinion on what you guys think of um, everything I'm building. I'd really appreciate that. I don't know. I should brought some stairs with me too to see if I can place them now and not have to go back around with dirt <coughs> and do it later. Um, let's go ahead and make some more here. I don't know how many I grabbed of the smooth stone. I didn't grab four. Alright. Beautiful. Um, how many stairs do I have now? Yeah, I'm going to need lots more. This 
64 plus 22, that should be good for now. <coughs> I'm not going to be able to place them upside down like I want them, I don't think. Not the angle that I'm... Oh, no, that's sideways. Aww. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. I had to cut out for a second. It was needed elsewhere. <laughs> okay. So yeah, my phone is still broken. I'm going to adjust my microphone here a little bit because I think it's right in my mouth. Um, my phone is still broken. Um, my little brother came over recently. Um, sorry, I just opened my front door because he's coming back over now. But he came over earlier this week. Um, he actually came to work with me and um, tried to fix my phone and was unsuccessful. And in the process of taking my phone apart, he broke my home button. So all week, my phone has been basically just a fancy clock. <laughs> um, I can't get out of my apps. I can't get into apps without, you know, like the only reason, only way I can get into an app um, and leave it again is if um, I turn my phone off and then it'll come back to the home screen or whatever. And that's not, it. Do that doesn't work for me. It's kind of annoying. So... <coughs> Um, I haven't been messing with my phone too much, but I did um, get online and I had to order a new piece of glass for my phone. You know, my sounds are really loud. I turned them up not long ago, so let me turn those back down. I think that's probably good. Um, so I had to order a new piece of glass um, because the one that he had was for a 4S, and I have just a 4, and when he... Um, yeah, so I had to I had to order a new one, and so I did, and I got a purple screen. Like it, the front and back, we're gonna replace both pieces of glass, and it's gonna be purple. But then I'm putting an otter box on it, so I don't screw it up again. So I'm learning my lesson. I hope <laughs> I've never had any issues with um, having an otter box on, so that's good. And actually, every time I take my otter box off, I end up breaking my phone, breaking the glass on there. So let's go ahead and just use up all of this glass here. I actually broke my phone um, almost a year ago exactly. <laughs> and it was because I had my otter box off for barely even a week and I dropped it in my driveway when I was getting out of my car. So that was fun. You know what? I'm not going to do the glass yet because I want to do another set of stairs but I don't think I have enough dirt so let's go get some dirt and I'm probably gonna break the shovel before I get enough dirt so let's make another one so yeah you guys might hear my dogs go crazy here pretty soon because when we have friends or family or anybody come over they freak out <laughs> they just they love everybody well my female does, I should iterate that, because my male, oh, hello, Skelly. Um, so my dogs, I have, um, my female is a, or I'm sorry, she's a Weimaraner, um, a blue Weimaraner. Most of them are silver is what the, the color is called, and they look tan, and my dog Bella is blue, and she looks dark gray, so she's pretty. I love my dog. Um, where do I want to get dirt from? without dying. Let's see if I can get down here. Um, my male is a German short hair pointer. Whoops. Um, both my dogs are hunting dogs. They're supposed to be. Um, we don't use them for hunting dogs. They're purely rec recreational. You know, just, just pets, kids, whatever. Um, but my German short hair pointer, the story of how we got him, um, we um, bought a house and lived here for a few months. And my Weimaraner, I think, was like two at the time. She was potty trained. Um, I really worked with her a lot um, because I was home in school, um, you know, home more often because I didn't have to work um, going to school. So I was home a lot with her and able to train her. Um, 
just because she's trained doesn't mean that she's a good dog. <laughs> she has a very strong personality and does what she wants to when she wants to. And it's like pulling teeth to get her to listen to me. But, I mean, she's trained. She knows how to sit. She knows how to do things. Um, <clears throat> she's a smart dog, too, so that helps. But we bought our house and um, lived here for a couple months. And we bought our house in July. And I went with a girlfriend of mine um, to her hometown to go just hang out for the weekend with her parents and things and the whole time I was gone my husband was sending me pictures of these puppies and stuff like his boss had one at work with him for a day or something and I was like no no dogs I didn't you know new carpet um, that kind of stuff I didn't want to have to deal with puppy messes and at the time I was working so I wasn't gonna be home to train him as much and stuff well I came home that weekend and my husband um, was standing in my um, in-laws um, front yard and they live actually right down the street from us in our addition um, he was standing over there and he had a puppy with him and I pulled over and got out of the car and was like hey in-laws that's your dog right that's not mine please tell me that's not my dog and it was my dog <laughs> so he got this um, German short haired pointer and his name is Scout and he is seriously one of the cutest dogs I have ever seen everybody like we go places like PetSmart or wherever to get nail trims and stuff, and everybody just fawns on this dog. They just, they love him. Oh, that would be him. Hey, shh. <laughs> so, um, he, they call it liver and tick. He's a brown color, and he has really pretty speckling on him. Um, he's a really pretty dog. But he is afraid of his own shadow. He's afraid of everything. And I think part of the problem was that he was three months old when we got him. So he was a little bit older than I would have liked to have him. Um, we had, we got our female when she was, we picked her out when she was four weeks old and I brought her home like a week and a half later. So she was really, really young. Um, and I liked that because she was, I was able to train her better. And, you know, she was, she really latched onto me and clung to me. So that was, that was good. Um, but my male, he was a little bit older and I think he might have been a little bit traumatized or something when he was at the um, breeders and so he's he's very paranoid and very skittish around people and he only likes people he knows really well like my in-laws um, he likes girls more than he likes boys um, but any of my brothers I have three brothers and any of them when they come over he runs and hides he thinks he's just terrified of them and I don't know what the issue is with that but um, you know I don't really want this video to get too much longer so I don't really think I'm gonna do any building yet um, I might actually just go ahead and start making my ledge here but yeah so that's the story of my puppies Um, Scout ended up being pretty easy to train. Um, luckily, the way I trained Bella to like, like potty trained her, um, she, we lived in an apartment at the time and she, we kept her in her crate and everything, but when she was real little, we um, like gated her in our kitchen area and put puppy pads down and all that kind of stuff. And um, she stayed in that area until she was big enough to escape, which was often <laughs> I would come home and she'd be missing and the apartment would be destroyed and it was lots of fun so um, Scout luckily our kitchen kind of has two openings to it and we did the same thing with him we gated him in and potty trained him that well so or that way so pretty went, went pretty well I can't talk today <clears throat> yeah, I don't have kids but I have animals they're my kids here, stair. Work with me here. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the video now and just keep working. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If there's something different I should do, if you guys have any ideas for me or suggestions, that would be cool. But um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep on building and see where this takes us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.